Hey guys, it's Seth. Welcome back to the lab. I'm super excited for today because we're going to be doing something really, really fun. We're going to be taking our Tanzanian coffee. That's right, the astronaut blend, the one we've been hearing all about. The crazy coffee that's so good and so legendary and so different. We're going to be taking that coffee and we're going to be tasting it in comparison to some of the other coffees that I sell. We're going to be tasting it next to our Brazilian coffee, our Ethiopian coffee, and then we're going to try the Tanzanian coffee and see how it compares and how it contrasts. For those of you who drink coffee every day just because you need a cup of joe to get you going, well, let me tell you this, that is just the beginning of the coffee experience and there are so many layers and layers beneath it. Coffee is so, so deep and there's so much to learn and experience within it. And that's what I want to just invite you guys into today, is we're going to take three different coffees and taste them next to each other and just see how they compare and contrast and some of the differences. And this is just an invitation for you to try the same thing at home. Grab three different coffees from three different places and try them next to each other and you'll realize that there is so much more to coffee than what's on the surface. So for our cupping here today, I've got a pot of water, I've got my three different coffees, I've got mugs to brew in, I've got a spoon, I've got a timer, I've got a scale, and right here I have a glass of water that we're going to use to just dip the spoon in, in between cups. So if you've got all those things and you're ready, then you are ready to go with the tasting. But before we start, I just want to remind you that we are doing a lot of really cool stuff this month with the Tanzanian coffee. For example, any Astronaut Blend coffee you purchase or any Astronaut Blend merch you buy, you will get a free Astronaut Blend sticker. As well as that, you'll be entered into a competition to win a free DeLonghi espresso machine. You don't want to miss out on that. Also, if you guys are here right now, you probably came from our email newsletter, but if you didn't and you're not subscribed to our email newsletter, you need to go sign up. We offer tons of special exclusive deals there through email and also lots of fun updates on what's going on in the lab. You don't want to miss it. Head to copywithemission.shop, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click to sign up to the newsletter. The other thing I want to throw your way is we just got a bunch more really awesome shirts and hats in stock when we got the astronaut blend that we're excited to offer to you guys. They look so awesome, so go check them out and order yourself a shirt or a hat. Remember, you'll be added into that drawing for the espresso machine if you do. So all that said and done, we're ready to start our tasting. I'm going to get my water boiling here real quick while I just let you know what basically we're going to be looking for today. For each of these three coffees, we're going to be looking at the aromatics, how it smells. We're going to be looking at the flavor of it, the acidity, the sweetness, the body, the finish for all of these coffees. So while my water finishes to boil, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start my scale. I'm going to go ahead and tear it out with this cup on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add nine grams of coffee to each of these. I have this pre-weighed ahead of time, so that makes it a little bit easier. I am no nine grams of coffee in. 9 grams of coffee in, and we're good to go. I would be certain when you're doing this to actually go ahead and weigh each of your cups. What I find is that sometimes you'll have the exact same cup, but they'll have different weights to them. For example, this cup weighs 3 grams less than this cup. I found that out when I was getting everything set up and I was weighing out my coffee. So just be sure to check your cups when you're doing it. It's something you'd never really think about. All right. My water is boiled, so we're ready to start the process. I'm going to let that chill for just a second, maybe 10 seconds to be precise. Meanwhile, I'm going to get my coffee ready. I'm going to set that on there. Go ahead and tear the scale, pick up my boiling water, start my timer, and I'm going to pour in 200 grams of water. Remember, we've got 11 grams of coffee in here. We're pouring in 200 grams of coffee. That pops my mug off pretty good. We're going to take that off, move on to the next coffee again. This mug is heavier than the last one, so we want to be sure to tear our scale in the middle. Go ahead and pour in 200 grams of water. Give or take a gram. That was 201. All right. And then we're going to tear our scale and pour in our last coffee. Perfect. Just like that. Now, our timer's already going at this point. We're almost a minute in for the first cup, but this last cup we just got poured. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and remember the order that we went in when we poured, from right to left, and we're gonna do the same thing when we start to taste. We're gonna taste this one first, then this one, then this one, in the order that we poured them. So we just hit two minutes, which means what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spoon and we're just gonna give it a nice stir. A nice stir to knock those grounds down into the coffee for an at-home tasting like you're doing right here. It doesn't really matter when you do this stir, but I do it between the two and four minute mark. So the whole purpose of this is just to knock those grounds down into the coffee. We don't wanna agitate it too much. Just gonna give it a nice stir, then rinse our spoon. Give it a nice stir, rinse our spoon, and there we go. One thing I didn't mention earlier is the grind side of these coffees, and I totally should have said that before I brewed them, before we were at this point in the tasting, but just so you know, it's going to be a medium coarse grind. So definitely about what you do for maybe a French press or a Chemex, along those lines, but you're, we're not talking small, fine granules. These are pretty big chunks. All right, so we just hit four minutes, which means I'm gonna start with the first coffee. This is our Brazil coffee. I'm just gonna get a little bit of those grounds out of the way, pick up some of the coffee here in my spoon. Mmm. And that is exactly how our Brazilian coffee is supposed to taste. It's this dark, rich coffee that has these strong, strong chocolatey flavors. I love it. All right, we're gonna move on to this next one right here. Mmm. Mmm. That is such a bold contrast to that one. I just had this dark chocolatey coffee, and now I'm moving into this light roast, and it is just such a wild change, change of pace here. Let's move into our Tanzanian right here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And that is, is almost like a combination of the two, which is wild because this is as dark chocolatey and this is as light fruity and this has got, got a little bit of both. I'm gonna go in for round two. <laughs> All right guys, so like I said, we're tasting to look at a few different things within these coffees, but kind of just to juggle them and compare and contract. Which one tastes like which? So first off, what we're going to talk about here is the acidity of these coffees. And oh my goodness, there's a contrast, all right? These two coffees have fairly similar acidities, our Brazilian and our Tanzanian. But the Ethiopian just has such a wildly different acidity. But the thing about it is that it's not the sharp, punchy acidity like you're biting into a lemon. It's more of like you're biting into an Asian pear. It's got that soft, super light acidity to it that's so, so pleasant and so, so enjoyable. I absolutely love the acidity of this coffee. This um, Brazilian coffee right here almost doesn't have a noticeable acidity at all. So if you like a bitter cup of joe, no sourness, you don't want any acidity in your coffee, this is for you. And this lands a little bit in the middle, but more towards the Brazil for sure. So the next thing I wanna to touch on is the sweetness. And let me just start by saying our Brazilian coffee here almost no sweetness whatsoever. It's like biting into a dark chocolate bar. Unsweetened, stone ground, 100% chocolate. That's what I get when I drink this cup of coffee. There's almost no sweetness. Then our Ethiopian has this bouncy sort of sweetness. Like I said, it reminds me like an Asian pear in so many different ways. It's not overly sweet, it's not underly sweet. It's just got this mellow sort of sweetness that's really pleasant. Then there's the Tanzania, which has this dark sweetness to it. It's this caramely sort of flavor, like brown sugar. It's so good, and I actually really, really enjoy this sort of sweetness. And if I'm gonna go for a dark roast, I'm gonna go for a dark roast with those caramely undertones. It's really pleasant the way the chocolate matches with this caramely sweetness. You guys gotta try this coffee. Now, if we're looking at body, I'm gonna say it again, these two have a lot of similarities and that's because they're both darker roasts. This is a light roast. There's a big difference here and that comes out again in the body of the coffees. This is a very light bodied coffee, almost like tea. Whereas these would land more at 2% milk sort of feel. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, if you know what 2% milk feels like in your mouth. That's what this cup of coffee feels like 
on the tongue, in the mouth. When we're talking about the finish for these cups of coffee, this has a nice, pleasant, long-lasting aftertaste that's not bad by any means. It's not bitter, it's not overly acidic. It's got this pleasant, rich aftertaste that really leaves a good taste in your mouth. This also has a very pleasant aftertaste. It's not very long-lasting, it's fairly short, kind of dies away out of your mouth, but it's really, really pleasant, and I absolutely love it. This coffee, on the other hand, the Brazil, it has that long-lasting aftertaste, but in comparison to the other two, it's probably the least pleasant of them. I don't dislike the taste of this coffee, but if I had to choose between the three, this would be my last choice. So you guys, if you haven't tried our astronaut blend, you need to try it. If you haven't tried our Ethiopian coffee, you also need to try it. And this Brazilian coffee, if you like a dark roast, if you like coffee that gets you going, if you want a punch in the gut, this dark roast Brazil is for you, okay? This is your coffee. Don't let anyone tell you it's too dark, too bitter. It's not, it's just coffee. So those three coffees are all available on our shop right now. I hope this video was interesting to you guys. I hope it helped you understand a little bit of the complexity behind our different coffees, our Brazilian, our Ethiopian, and our Tanzanian coffee. And I hope it helped bring you a little bit more rounded view of what coffee tasting is about and what, what we're trying to look for in coffees. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll put links to all these coffees down below. I'll also put links to other videos and other resources we have regarding our coffees. We've got articles up on the lab results, so much stuff for you guys if you're curious about any of these coffees. So go ahead and check the description and don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, like this video, and can't wait to see you next week with more coffee, more videos, more information about it. You guys are so awesome. God bless you.